Take this money and say, boy, you right. Party, party through the day and night, day and night. And we up with it hot. Space trip, astronaut. Split your sun rooftop. Nashila, pick your parking lot. This, that, fuck your block. She's my only really sleep with married men. Are these women who are married to genuinely good men, yet they are cold hearted? quarrelsome, vile, selfish towards them due to the fact that they are a good person. You guys have to understand, when you marry somebody that is genuinely good, they're good towards everyone, not just their significant others. And for the fact that you would hold this jealousy in you towards them for possessing the same qualities that attracted you to marry them in the first place is the most ridiculous thing that I've ever seen. If you're not happy, boo, just leave and make room for a more quality woman to step in to accept a man like that because it is slim pickings out here, honey. So you get on out there and you will see for yourself what it's really like. Yeah. Damn. She said it. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. As a married man, I agree with what she just said. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's really messed up, though. It's really fucked up. It's really fucked up. But, dude. Mm-hmm. I got to do a rerun on that one. I got to go back. I got Because there was a lot of there that I should have said a lot, but I was just too stunned, you know? Guys, even more than women who knowingly sleep with married men. What happened, babe? Are these women who are married to genuinely good men? I am. Yet they are cold hearted, quarrelsome, vile, selfish towards them due to the fact that they are a good person. Okay, I I haven't met that woman that she's speaking of, but I can say that I definitely probably experienced women in that nature. A lot of women around, yeah. But because you're a good, good dude, you know, some women like kind of look at you as like you're too good. Like, uh, you must be gay or some shit. Like, what the fuck? I ain't gotta be gay. I ain't gotta be, I'm just a good person. I'm really serious. I was like, oh no, you too good to be true. You probably be slaying through hoes and fucking bitches all day. Hey, come on, people, really? That's what we doing now? Like, we just really got to prejudge a motherfucker. Motherfucker just really can't be a good person. Like, my grandmother, my great-grandmother really taught me how to be an actual good dude. My grandfather, an actual good dude. Genuinely. Not no fake shit, but an actual genuine good dude. You know what I mean? That's the thing that most people aren't raised around. Because a lot of y'all was raised around your parents who weren't taught how to be genuine. So you think you're being genuine, but you weren't even taught how to be genuine. Oh my God, don't even go there with me when you talk about being a good person. Nigga, did you grow up with people that were good people? No, my great-grandparents weren't all great when they were growing up. But I caught them at their sweet years. Around 60, 70. They already who they are. So yes, I saw the fruits of labor. Yes, I'm an exception to the rule to where I've had and know what it's like to be raised in a great fundamental aura and a sound home that's solid. I understand that. It wasn't all peaches and cream and it wasn't all gold. I stayed in mobile homes with these people. We stayed in all type of, you know what I mean, trailers and trailer parks and things like that. But all those things taught me how to be a great person, a great man. Really treat women with respect, love, honor. That's what my music talks about. My music literally talks about being the guy who is with the Bonnie and Clyde, like Joker and Harley Quinn. You know what I mean? That's like really like what my music talk about when it comes to that's the vibe that I get from it. You know what I mean? The, the timbre I speak on. So, she's really facts. You guys have to understand, when you marry somebody that is genuinely good, they're good towards everyone, not just their significant others. What I just speak of? It's 
crazy because that's she's right. It's good to everybody. Why? Because you're looking at everything not to come back on you as a foul aura, right? And we can only we can't be good. It's not like we can be good to everyone all the time because there's some people who are just going to be bad in a way, but um, where we can receive good karma all the time. That's what I was meaning. Like it's not like we can receive good karma all the time because things happen to good people. Bad things happen to good people. Good things happen to bad people. I mean, it's just kind of the way life sways. It's the equilibrium. It's the life of equilibrium. You know what I mean? Those are the things that I feel people may not understand. So if we take it deeper, just kind of filtering out life's BS, this is what you're looking at. So th that's how I see it, you know. That's how it should be seen. But that's how I see it. And for the fact that you would hold this jealousy in you towards them for possessing the same qualities that attracted you to marry them in the first place is the most ridiculous thing that I've ever seen. If you're not happy, boo, just leave and make room for a more quality woman to step in to accept a man like that because it is slim pickings out here, honey. So a lot. So that was a mouthful, too. If you can't really deal with a guy just being a good dude, like, if I can't just... If you can't really just deal with me being me, that why would why should I deal with my why should I deal with that shit? You know what I mean? And but you're not gonna let it go because you don't want no other female to take your spot. Or you don't want no other female to have that. Or yeah, he's such a good dude and all it is, you won't woo, woo, woo. and because I you know, he got good dick, you won't let him go. It's like you want your cake and eat it too, but you don't want him to be. It's like it's fucked up. Give the man up to a more quality woman. No, that's not convincing enough. Okay, cool. Well, let the nigga fuck her. Oh no, that's not cool. I can't let him get. Nope, he's mine. He's forever mine. That's not right. That's wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. Like she said, this slim picking out there. Women, a lot of women want a good man. Good, just a genuine good person. Literally. Because there are dudes out here who's made to be single women, like made to be with, you know, one woman. I know women like, ah, no, nah, niggas cheat, niggas do this, niggas do that. I know, I know, I know. I get it. But you have to understand, it's it's not, it's it's not how, it's not how you're eating the fruit it's literally how you're picking the fruit. Some of y'all already picking a fuck nigga right off bat. And you know he's a fuck nigga. It's not like you picking a, 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 a good dude and you vetted it out for him to be a good dude and he turns out to be a fuck nigga. It's not, you, you, you it just don't, it, it doesn't add up. Genu genuinely, if you met him like that, most likely he's like that. But girls don't want the good dude, you know, the guy who's going to work all the time, who's watering the lawn, who's taking out his trash, who keeps the front porch clean and shit, who makes sure every fixture in the house is fixed. Or if he don't know how to fix it, he'll get someone to fix it. You know, someone who always making sure that he's pursuing more goals, who's continuing, who's not looking at all the fuckery and all the materialistic things in life. See, mo women don't want that. Mo more, more y'all want the opposite. Y'all want the guy who's in the whip. Y'all want the guy who's spending the nice luxury shit at the Ritz Carlton, downtown LA. You know, y'all want that. Newport Beach, yacht, yacht life. Hey, dad, hey, man, look at me, bitch. You know, so you should go pursue that. I said in the last video where I mentioned the woman who. Got her due for 500 well, half a billion dollars. The story is, she was married. She wanted more. She had a little boyfriend on the side who opened a company. That company is titled MySpace. All of a sudden, sold the company for less than what they bought it for. She came out the house with a half a billion. Got her kid some equity on it. I mean, it's a crazy story. It's, the, the, the story is crazy. She was, she was gone. Story is crazy. 
The whole point is the guy was a good guy. Matter of fact, I think the guy left his wife for her or some shit like that. Anyway, it's just to show you how really gullible men are. You know what I mean? Most men are good dudes, honestly. Literally. But I get it, you know. No, well, now a lot of y'all go comment, comment below, tell me how bad men are, how bad this is, and da 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 da. I know, and I'm gonna be responding back to those comments. So y'all go ahead and comment your ass off. Let's do it. Thank y'all for tuning in. Really appreciate y'all. Gas Mask Tribe TV podcast. And go check out the music. Dirty hard.